Hello guys, my name is Mike here and welcome to my YouTube channel. And today on my YouTube channel, I'll be showing you how to add Grammarly into Microsoft Word. How to add Grammarly into Microsoft Word. So guys, please if you're new on this channel, consider subscribing so that you get notified anytime I put a new video like this. So let's start. First of all, the first thing you have to do is to open your browser. After opening your browser, can see that you have Grammarly as an extension and let me see you want you want to know how to do that just watch it in one of my previous video and the link to the video is in the description below how to add an extension on google chrome that's the name of the video and the link is in is in the description below so the first thing you have to do is to come right here and type grammarly.com Grammarly.com. And I click on enter. Grammarly.com. And now this is my Grammarly account. And guys, before I start, I would like to show you my Microsoft Word. It shows that there is no any Grammarly extension there. First, open that. Close this blank document. You can see there is no any Grammarly extension here. Oh yeah, there is no any Grammarly extension. So I'll just close it. I so saw the insertion process it can take place in Grammarly extension. And I go to apps. Under apps, you can see different things. Grammarly for Windows, Grammarly for Chrome, Grammarly for Microsoft Office. Remember, I went to apps. So under apps, I'm going for Grammarly for Microsoft Office. Write better, clearer Word documents and Outlook emails. That is for Microsoft Office. So I'll just select that and say reinstall. Grammarly for Microsoft Office. I went to grammarly.com under grammarly.com. I went to apps right here. Apps. We'll just click on reinstall. You can see right here it is downloading. And you can see right here that it is downloading. And now I'll just click on that and select open. And when doing this, you make sure that you don't have any Microsoft documents open. Make sure that your, your Microsoft app is totally closed. Just as my is closed. I don't have any Microsoft documents open. Let me see. I have one I'm working on. I will, I will have to save it and close it. So just make that that is saved and closed. So now I selected open and this is it. I select run. And I just select get started. This will pop up on your screen and select get started. And now you can pick the one you want it for. If you want it for Grammarly for Outlook, Grammarly for Word, but well, let me just go for Grammarly for Word so we want to mark this and select install. Also make sure that remember, make sure that all your Word apps and all your Word documents are closed. Because you know that it is installing. Now it is finished. You have installed Grammarly. Congratulations. Then I'll just select finish. So now it has been installed. 
and word so what i have to do now is to open my word microsoft word i'll just open that it's right here now I'll go to blank document blank document and now you can see right here I have grammarly right here is also here grammarly or just like that now let's click on grammarly twice open grammarly right here click on that i understand something like i kevin i'm not going to put a comma there because i want you guys to see the way grammarly is going to correct me Hi Kevin, thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Support on my YouTube channel. So you can see that grammar has underlined the words that I made a mistake in. You can see I didn't spend my year where the correct spelling click on that yo i'll just select this and see right here to change it has changed now it's still on the line kevin i see that you change to capitalization i'll select that again and select this and you see right here it will change and that is it now now i'm free from all grammarly errors and please i will ask you to install grammarly on your word so that you can so that it can help you anytime and type in a word document so thank you guys and guys i'll see you on my next video and please don't forget to subscribe give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment below bye